And hello, I'm Dylan Black. This is Daytime Ottawa Rogers TV and welcome. Uh, you want to get to, into some amazing upcycling tips right now with me? Sure you do. Uh, her name is Erin Rochon. She's with Bluebird Upcycled Style. She joins us. Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm great. Good so to glad to be here. Show. Yeah, I love uh, coming. It's always good to have you on the show because you are basically um, saving people money. Yes. With upcycling. Yes. So can yes, you tell us, sure. first of all, how long has Bluebird Upcycled Style been around for at this point? Um, we've just moved into our third year. Yeah. And uh, things have been going really well. We have a studio down in Mechanicsville in, in, in Hintonburg area, mm -hmm. and it's been it's been really fantastic. And people are really into the whole uh, upcycling and refinishing furniture, so it's been fantastic. Saves people cash. Yes. And it keeps the stuff that they don't want to throw out, like maybe maybe important pieces of furniture, like the out of landfills, but, yeah. but more importantly with them. Yes. Which is great. Well, I think too, because I get a number of people that come in and they've gotten stuff hand down, uh, handed down to them from their uh, family or their grandmother and they're not really sure what to do it's do with it because it's been sitting in the basement for so long but this is a fantastic option mm -hmm. to be able to modernize it and bring it into your decor and it's a piece of history so rather than getting rid of it and putting it into the dump you yeah. can keep it yeah, you turn it into a so 2018. Yes, very much. All right, so what exactly is upcycling for people who don't know what that term yes, is? Yes, because a lot of people don't. So upcycling is basically transforming something that is tired and um, not very functional in, anymore mm -hmm. into something that is beautiful and functional. So if you think about that, you can pretty much apply that to anything. But uh, I really love focusing in, on furniture and even on some decor items as well because okay. you can really make some beautiful things. Okay, so you, we have some tips. Uh, you've also yes. submitted some photos that you'd have, like to have a look at? Yes, I did. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about um, how to transform uh, uh, furniture through your uh, thrifting finds. So this desk, for example, um, I got this at a, at, a, at a thrift store, and as soon as it walked in, I just about jumped on top of it, <laughs> and I refinished it. So this is the after picture, but this just gives you an idea of what you can do with it. The before, was it was brown, it was kind of tired, and I think most people would have walked by it, but this is a great way to really change things up and to really modernize it. Yeah, very modern looking. Okay. So this is a before picture. I found this at another thrift store. Um, most people, I think, too, would walk. There's like paint all over it. It doesn't look that fantastic. It's veneer, and there's nothing wrong with veneer. Uh, but the after picture, you'll see, just with some paint. I used fat paint on this and uh, got a little bit creative with doing some stripes and completely changed it up. So mm -hmm. this, you could totally bring into your decor. It's a really modern piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it looks, you can tell it's still vintage, but it looks yes. modern. I, yeah. I like that. I, like I, that I love that too. Um, it's a great way to uh, to kind of just modernize things up. This is a Gibbard dresser. And Gibbard were very um, high quality furniture. It's Canadian and they're fantastic back in the day. But this is an another piece that a lot of people would just walk by. It had some um, scratches and stuff on the finish. But after I used some paint, I used Fusion Mineral paint on this, did a fun graphic design on it, stripped it a little bit, and just had some fun with this piece. Mm -hmm. It completely changes it up. Okay. Look this is another one. So this looks like it was a little bit out of the 70s. Antique-ish oh, looking. Yes. Yeah. yeah, but this this was another piece that I found, and it had a lot of damage to it. And there was so much going on, it kind of got lost. So after I painted it, I used Navy State of Mind from Fat Paint. It just needed one color, this one, because it was just so beautiful. Wow. The hardware just really stands out. So this is just to kind of show how easily you can really transform things. Mm -hmm. So when I have people come to me and they're looking to get new furniture or um, new decor, one of the things I tell them is that you have to shop often if you're going to your stores mm -hmm. because they're always getting in new things. They always have new, new cool stuff coming in. So that's number one. You want to shop often a few times a week. The second thing that I tell people is, um, and this is so important, when I first started uh, doing this, I found out the hard way, but when you see it, you grab it because <laughs> I've gone in and I've looked at things and as soon as I've stepped away, someone came behind me mm, and, and grabbed the piece. So, the way. Yeah, so you want to make sure that you grab that piece as soon as you can if you're thinking about it. The last thing that I tell people, which is really, really important, is when you are looking for pieces in thrift stores, what you have to do is you have to look past the finish because sometimes it's not painted in a very nice color or it's um, a throwback to the 70s, which always isn't bad, but sometimes it can be. Yeah, of course. Um, you want to look past it and start looking for some unique details. Maybe it's got really cool lines. Maybe the legs are really neat. neat. I bought pieces just because of the hardware. The things that you do want to look for is you do want to look for the quality. So. Um, for example, this drawer over here, this this piece here, it's solid wood. Mm -hmm. um, 
this, this is a, another one that I think people could have probably walked by, but it's solid wood, it's mahogany. You can even tell, see this little piece right here, this yeah. is where people used to put um, buttons or change. Um, if you look at the, uh, at the joints, it's, this is a dovetail drawer. So you can tell by this piece, this is a high quality piece of furniture. And okay. I did get this at a thrift store. And then just by painting it up, you can completely change it. Okay, were you gonna demonstrate some stuff here? Yeah, so first what too? I'm gonna do is I'm just about gonna two show you. Left. Okay, Time so. Time goes quickly. Yes. What I'm gonna do really quick is I'm just gonna show you. So this is fat paint. I'm painting it in one of my favorite colors, which is so appropriate for the spring. And it's like spring. a chalky type paint. Yes, it's paint. a chalk style paint. So the nice thing about it is I don't have to do any priming, any heavy duty sanding, and I can just paint it on. So you see, with just that one coat, you can see how well that's covering. So yeah. you don't really have to do a heck of a lot. How many coats would you say you do to, to make sure two that coats. it's just two coats? Yeah, so I always recommend using two coats of paint because um, that'll really give you uh, really good coverage and this paint dries fast so if mm -hmm. I went home I could do this by the end of the night. Uh, are there what kind of uh, colors are there with fat paint because I notice it seems to be more like sort of the springy look colors. Well they, the nice thing about fat paint is they have really fantastic colors so they're very update in terms of what's happening uh, on on trend right now in some of the decor styles so they just came out with a color called Cascadia which is a really deep wow. um, lovely forest green kind of color. Sounds like a fantasy movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cascadia. Yeah. I like that. But okay. they have, the nice thing is that they have pretty much any color that, that would work for most people's decor, so you can okay. really have fun with it. All right, so about a minute left. Tell us about yep. some of your workshops. Um, so I offer a whole lot of uh, different workshops, and one of the really important things for us at Bluebird is that I really want to look at building a creative community. I get a lot of people that come in, and they're afraid. Um, they're worried about ruining a piece of furniture by painting it. And one of the things that I tell people is that there's really no risks in this. You use a good product like fat paint or fusion mineral paint, and you could really get some amazing um, amazing pieces. So with our workshops, we offer ones to teach you some of the most uh, popular furniture refinishing techniques. Mm -hmm. um, we offer DIY ones that you can come out, have some fun. We offer um, networking uh, opportunities for people to come out that are furniture and refinishers and to kind of have that creative community happening. You have a lot of products. stuff going on. I do. It's a <laughs> lot of fun. <laughs> More details, uh, of course, go to bluebirdupcycledstyle.ca. Aaron Rochelle, thank you very much. Oh, thanks so much for having me. It's always great to be here. We'll find out more about the Man Soap Soap Company next on Daytime.